Oh, hey guys, you know, I'm going to take a, a quick detour from my documentary series on how Bridgeport pulled ahead of Clarksburg in the last 30 to 35 years. I've been doing my own research here on the internet and uh, trying, just trying to get my facts straight. And I, was, I pulled up the audit for last fiscal year, year ending June 30, 2021, from Clarksburg and Bridgeport, kind of compared them. We're always told we need to compare ourselves to Bridgeport. Look at what they're doing right. Um, I, 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 it's a hard comparison to make because we're not them. They're a suburb. They got sprawl issues. Uh, but they also have a lot of money, and we don't. So our path forward might not be exactly the same. But I think there's still some key principles that we can recognize. Let's start. Bridgeport's audit has a management discussion analysis and discussions kind of frame the audit to help people understand what their goals are and why the money's being spent the way it is. Point two, city continues to realize that future growth will come from the availability of infrastructure. Then it goes on a detour or detail uh, various projects that it's, it, they've done, uh, including water and sewer lines. Out to UHC, expand the capacity there. So additional buildings can be built. Uh, upgrade the water service to the area around the airport so that as more buildings are built, they maintain uh, enough fire flow, enough pressure uh, to service those buildings. You know, we had a, a fire, I think, last Easter, a residential fire, and I called in departments all over from the county, and one of the complaints was we just couldn't get enough water pressure in Clarksburg not out in the perimeter, right in the downtown area, core of Clarksburg. And then it says, uh, city continues uh, progress on its long-term control plan, uh, which lets plan infrastructure improvements through the year uh, 2032. These improvements provide greater flow in our sewer plant and help reduce the number of outflows on the Simpson Creek. Very similar uh, to what you hear from Clarksburg. With the West Fork, Bridgeport has, and I, I guess especially the older areas of its city, uh, combined sewer outflows. So when the water gets high, uh, the feces and, and crap just flow in a Simpson Creek instead of to the sewer plant. Uh, bear in mind, Bridgeport is about 60% the size, less than 60% the size of Clarksburg as far as population. Uh, it says... For fiscal year 2021-2022, the city anticipates work to exceed $6 million, $800,000 already spent, and $4.3 million already contracted for this year. So in this current year, they're spending a sum that's almost equal to the entire American Rescue Plan Act allotment that the city of Clarksburg got to spend over three years. Bridgeport's opening its pocketbook and fixing its sewer plant issues. And they say they're doing this in anticipation of future growth. They know that the economic vitality of their town depends on having infrastructure. Um, I know that Bridgeport's had some stormwater issues related to the expansion of East Point out towards City Net and then former DMV. Uh, but I've not really heard of them having gross infrastructure issues otherwise. Maybe that's because they stay on top of it. Um, so if we want to make some sort of comparison between us and them, just look at the official rhetoric coming out of them. Um, if I'm a business and I've got my choice of where to locate, I'm going to locate to the place that says, I'll take care of your basic infrastructure, provide adequate water and sewer to your place. I'll holler at you later.